let's dive into handling headers in route handlers. We will start with the basics of what headers actually are. HTTP headers represent the metadata associated with an API request and response. This metadata can be classified into two main categories. First, we have request headers. These are sent by the client, such as a web browser, to the server. Request headers contain essential information about the request, which helps the server understand and process it correctly. For example, we have user agent, which identifies the browser and operating system to the server. It is often used for browser-specific content rendering and analytics. We have accept, which indicates the content types like text, video, or image formats that the client can process. It enables the server to deliver the resource in a format suitable for the client. Another common request header is the authorization header used by the client to authenticate itself to the server. It carries credentials, allowing controlled access to resources. Second, we have response headers. These are sent back from the server to the client. They provide information about the server and the data being sent in the response. An example is the content type header, which indicates the media type of the response. It tells the client what the data type of the returned content is, such as text slash HTML for HTML documents, application slash JSON for JSON data, etc. When you're working with route handlers in Next.js, you will need to know how to both read request headers and send back response headers. Let's head over to VS Code and understand with an example. Now we will use the profile route handler we built earlier. Open route.ts present in the API folder. We have a get handler that returns a new response profile API data. I'm going to open Thunder client extension, make a new request to HTTP localhost 3000 slash profile slash API. By default, the request has two headers, accept and user agent. Let's add a third one, authorization, and we can set the value to a bearer token. Bearer, one, two, three, four, five. Now the question is, how do we read these headers in our route handler? Well, we've got two options. The first one is using the request parameter. At the top, import type next request from next slash server and specify the parameter with its type. Request of type next request. Within the handler function, we use the headers web API to extract the request headers. So new headers, and we pass in request.headers. We store it in a constant called request headers. In the next line, we will use the get method on request headers and log the authorization header to the console. So console.log request headers dot get the authorization header which we have just specified. If we send a request from Thunder client, open the terminal, we should see our bearer token authorization header. The value is bearer followed by one two three four five. While this first option works completely fine, you can also choose to use the headers function that Next.js provides. At the top, import headers from next slash headers. And within the function body, we invoke the headers function and store the result in a request headers constant. So const header list is equal to await headers. Headers is an async function, so we will need to await it. We then access the authorization header using the get method and log it to the console. Console.log headers list dot get authorization. Resend the request with a different token value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and check the terminal. We can see the latest bearer token is logged. So this is how you read headers from an incoming request. Now let's talk about setting outgoing headers. Here's something important to know. The headers returned from the headers functions are read only. To set new headers, you will need to return a new response with your custom headers. Let me show you an example. If you access this route in your browser, slash profile slash API, you will see profile API data in plain text. Check the network tab and you will notice the content type is text slash plain. So if we wrap our text in an H1 tag and refresh, it will still show up as plain text. But watch what happens when we set the content type to text slash HTML. 
So return new response. As a second argument, you specify headers and content type is text slash HTML. Refresh your browser. And now you've got properly styled H1 text, profile API data. The browser renders it differently because we told it to expect HTML through the response header, content type, text slash HTML. The takeaway is that to set headers, you need to return a new response with custom headers. Using the request and response headers, you can implement whatever logic you need to in your route handler. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.